Before we start, we wanna make sure the steering wheel is straight and you wanna lock the steering wheel any way you can. A good way to do this is move the seat all the way up, take the seatbelt, slide it through the bottom of the steering wheel and plug it in. That way the steering wheel can't spin and you can't mess up the clock spring. At the top of the steering box, you see where the intermediate shaft goes into the steering box. You wanna take this bolt out right here. Use an 11 millimeter socket. Take this bolt out. It's a good idea to replace this bolt if you can. Now just pry this off. Just use a pry bar or a screwdriver. And that's separated. Take this hose and use a hose clamp pliers. Take the hose clamp off, move it out of the way. You might want to have a drain bucket underneath because when you pull this hose off, some power steering fluid is going to come out. You can use some hose pliers or just try to grab it and just try to pull it up. There we go. Now we need to remove this line, the pressure line that goes into the steering box. You can use an 18 millimeter wrench. The best thing to do would be to use a crow's foot uh, with an extension, but if you don't have one, a wrench will work. It's just a little bit difficult to loosen up. And pull that off, separate that. Take the wheel off, use a 22 millimeter socket, remove the lug nuts, remove the wheel. Take this shield off, use a 15 millimeter socket, and there's four bolts. Take those out. Take this shield off, and there's four bolts. Use the 15 millimeter socket. Take this nut off right here. Use a 21 millimeter socket. You need to separate the pitman arm from the steering linkage. There's many different tools you can use. We're gonna use a pickle fork. There we go. Popped it loose. You're gonna have to take these three bolts out. If you want to, you can take the shield off or just push it out of the way. Get this bolt out, use a 21 millimeter socket. You go to take the last bolt out, make sure you support the power steering box. Should be okay right there. Now grab the steering box and you're gonna slide it up and out. Just twist it a little bit. Take it down. I'm taking a 34 millimeter socket. We're gonna take this nut off. It doesn't fit exact, but it's the closest thing I have. If you have a socket that fits better, use it. And take this washer off. Now take a straight blade screwdriver, just get under this dust seal and just push it down. Then you can take a Pitman arm remover. Make sure it's above the dust seal. There we go. And slide the old one off. Take the new one. There is these guide pins. There's three of them, or guide keyways. Slide those in the proper spot. Put the wash back on. Put the nut back on. Tighten it down. If you can put this in a vise and torque this, you wanna to torque that nut to 184 foot-pounds. Now just move the dust seal back. Now slide it back in position. Make sure you slide the pitman arm through the steering linkage first. So it's in position. Then line the steering box up with the holes and get the bolts started. Get all three bolts started. 
torque these bolts to 110 foot-pounds. Now put the nut on. Torque this to 46 foot-pounds. Then line the cotter pin up. And if it doesn't line up with the hole, you can tighten the nut a little bit more. Right there. Slide the cotter pin through. Use some side cutters and just bend the cotter pin. And you can trim the excess. At this point, you can put the shields back up. Throw this shield up. You can put the wheel back on. Before I lower this down, just make sure the wheel is straight so that when we put the shaft together, it lines up correctly. Now torque the lug nuts to 140 foot pounds in a cross pattern so you tighten the wheel down evenly. Just go around it again, double check. Now let's hook up the steering shaft first. It would be a little bit easier to start with this versus the lines. Just slide it on the steering box and then get the bolt started. Snug this up first. If you have the ability to torque this bolt, Torque it to 37 foot-pounds. Now take the high-pressure hose, line it up. Make sure the O-ring's still on the other side of this, and it is. Get that started by hand. And do the best you can. If you can get a torque wrench in there to torque this, torque it to 20 foot-pounds. Now the power steering hose. Slide that on and put the clamp back on. Now we can top off the power steering fluid, make sure it's up to the full line. If you have a hydro boost system where the power steering fluid goes through, this and then goes back out to the steering box then you're going to do this a little bit different if you don't have one you're going to start the vehicle with that fluid up there you're going to pump the brake pedal about 10 to 12 times and then with the front wheels raised off the ground turn the wheel back and forth knock to knock about 15 to 20 times after you've done this shut the vehicle off double check the fluid level and adjust accordingly after you've done this job, keep in mind that you want to bring the vehicle to a local shop to have it aligned. You don't want to burn out the tires prematurely.